Hi, this is Ricky Huynh with Seagate Technology, and this video will show you how to connect to the 4-bay development chassis and perform basic kinetic API operations. Let's first review the architecture of the development kit. Enclosed in the chassis are four kinetic drives, each with two Ethernet ports. External of the enclosure exposes two Ethernet ports, which are used to connect the drives to the local area network and the computer. In one port, connect the Ethernet cable from the local area network that has an IPv4 DHCP server. In the other port, connect the Ethernet cable to your local computer. Once connected, you can use the Eclipse application platform to run a multicast example and capture the IP addresses from the drives. Open Kinetic Preview, double click src slash test slash java, double click kinetic.example.monitor package, and open heartbeat monitor example.java. This example outputs a heartbeat message in a JSON string format published by a kinetic drive or simulator. Right click on the code, go to run as, and select Java application. In the console window, you can see the heartbeat messages are being printed, which includes the two IP addresses for each of the drives. Since the heartbeat has a timer, the messages will continue to print periodically. Click on the red box to end the heartbeat monitor. You can see here that each message line has two IP addresses giving a total of 8 different IP addresses captured from the development chassis. To perform kinetic API operations on an actual drive, double-click on kinetic.example package and open kinetichelloworld.java. Since we no longer need to start a simulator, comment out the lines of code pertaining to the simulator. To set a client host, Add client config dot set host and here input one of the eight IP addresses. I'm just going to use the first one. For compatibility reasons, we also need to add client config dot set use v2 protocol and set it to true. After saving, we can now run the kinetic hello world example to put, get, and delete an entry on an actual kinetic drive. You can see the results in the console window, which initiates the transport client to the defined host port, completes the API operations, and finally, closes the transport client. If you would like to learn more about Seagate Kinetic Open Storage, please visit developers.seagate.com.